what is Java Supplier? How can I use it? How can I combine it? If you want to know more about this Java API, this video is for you. Hey, my name is Otavio Santana and welcome to my YouTube channel. The channel is for you who wants to become a better software engineer. So if you want to know more about Java, software engineer, software architecture, you come to the right place. Please subscribe on my channel. Okay, let's explore the supply interface here. As the name said, the idea is to fill up that information. So I will create here my supplier test. Let's create here a method public void should use supplier test. And the idea is uh, you can test if the, the information is there. If you don't, you can use this supply interface. For example, I will create a cache of my information. So name supplier, I will use ADA, I supplier here. So, oops, no, it's away. And I will create my optional string that I will call database. So it will be empty. And what can I do right now is if my database is empty, if I don't receive any kind of information, let's use my cache or the opposite. So if my cache is empty, let's, lo uh, let's load from the database. So let's rename here. So let's call database in here. Let's call cache. So cache, if my cache is empty, it will load from my database. So let's see what's going on here. OL cat. Right now it will return some information. So the name, let's use my favorite framework to test, that is AssessJ. If you enjoy to explore the capability of the Fluent API, that is the right framework to use. So AssessJ name, so you can use Assess equals to ADA. And then you can use It will load and that is it. To answer the question, how can I combine it? Unfortunately, you cannot buy the interface. So you cannot like aggregate or combine this interface at least manually, okay? That's all for today. The main idea was to explain a little bit more about the supplier. Hopefully you enjoyed this video. Please give your thoughts and let me know. And see you soon. Bye.